enjoyed this week's episode and please like this video, share with your friends and doc mates and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us get more viewers like you. All right, so now we're gonna take those plates that we just put together and we hooked hose to it and now we're gonna lower it down into the bilge um, in the main part of the bilge uh, where we want this first one to be located. We tried this, put this in the bilge, uh, but look, look what a sponge does. It sucks up the water, amazing, so that worked well. But what didn't work well is because the way the bilge kind of it comes to a point at the aft of the boat, this is a little too wide for it to sit all the way as back as far as I want. So I'm gonna have to just kind of nip the tip right back here to, uh, to get that more of a wedge shaped so it fits into the bilge better. Yeah, because it's hitting the keel boat, the very furthest forward keel boat. Yeah, so we I have want to... this to sit flat. Mm -hmm. So let's get on it. Okay, okay so I've got my <clears throat> plate here in the vise. I marked it with tape where I'm gonna cut it. And then I've got my cutting wheel, <clears throat> safety precautions, and my personal favorite, <laughs> your price. So, nip the tip, nip the tip, and now this will slide in to the bilge like that. We have our, basically our manifold. So there's two places in the bilge where I wanna suck dry. And so I have this little nipple here connected to a hose and this little nipple here. So these two will be the smaller hoses that kind of go down into the, the two separate areas of the bilge. And so then the pump, and then notice to see this arrow, it pumps that way. So the pump is gonna suck through here. I've got this inline strainer to protect the pump from larger debris. And then that's going to create a vacuum pressure to suck the, um, the water up here. And then this on the end is actually just a, just a cap. Um, cause I couldn't actually find what I needed. So all I could find was these T fittings. I couldn't just find like an elbow with this configuration. Um, so I just bought this little like rubber cap. That's the same diameter of what I needed and then of course hose clamp that on so next I have to figure out the discharge so I'm gonna have some more of this hose coming off of here that's just like a shipping cap pull that off so this hose is gonna connect to here so the water's gonna flow out to that and then the other end of that hose is going to be connected to this and I have to figure out where to put that and I think I have a spot. All right, check it out. So this is where we we're putting the the dry bilge nipple to go overboard. So this is actually a cockpit drain that goes out here, goes down to just above the waterline right here. Um, and then this one is the actual uh, big bilge pump that, you know, this is the, the main bilge pump is this one. So I wanted to keep them separate because um, I was doing some, you know, online research and looking through the forums to see if you could have two bilge pumps on one discharge. 
And I really didn't get a solid feel for what to do. So I just went with uh, keep it separate. These things are like remarkably expensive, but it's a, uh, it's like a step drill. So that worked out pretty nice. You just gotta make sure you don't go too deep in it or else your hole's gonna be way too big. So I like had to like drill it, stop, test, do a little bit more, stop, test. So yeah. Okay, check it out. So one thing to note uh, in the manual, if you read the instruction manual on this, how to install, because your leaks will come from these fittings basically, um, have your pump in this direction so that if there's a leak, it drips down away from the pump instead of down onto the pump. This one runs down to like uh, below the engine where some water can pool. This one runs down to the bilge that uh, where the water can pool. And then, so the pump is gonna suck through our manifold here, through the strainer, back up into here, up and around, and out this, uh, where I teed into this cockpit drain. Pay no attention to the quality of these hoses, those will be replaced later, and then out through this through hole down here. So, I have it just uh, wired up, very rudimentary just to this, uh, um, 12 volt block there that powers the, the instruments in the cockpit. So I will now go flip that on and we should hear our pump running and we should see some water being sucked through our and sucked through an overboard. <laughs> so yeah, this wiring is definitely not final, it's just a test. So uh, <laughs> bear with me on that, but let's let's flip it on and see what we get. <laughs> let's go check it out. I'm excited. Hmm. I think there'd be more water than that. All right, guys, I swear boat work is just troubleshooting sometimes. <laughs> so here's what I've done. I've taken off our manifold. So this is the manifold with the small pipes or small tubes that go into the, the various bilges for the like extraction point. And I took that off and I just bypassed all of that with the 3 8 inch size hose. Um, so what I was reading in the manual and I probably should have known this from the beginning, <laughs> is that a minimum of 3 8 inch, or they said 10 millimeters, I don't know if that's the same, but um, is needed for the pickup and the discharge. So I felt like, well, maybe these hoses, these tubes, that's not 3 8 this is 3 8 So you can see the, the size difference there. So maybe these are just too small for this to get a uh, like a good suction, I guess. I don't know. It says it's dry priming. Um, I did check this and you know there was water in there and you saw earlier there was a little bit of water spitting out. But um, I've just basically ran, uh, I overbought on this hose because it was much cheaper to buy like 50 feet than like 20 feet. So I just bought a whole coil and I'm hooking it up directly to the strainer. And then it goes out here, inside the boat. Down here. And then I just have it right here in the bilge. My theory is that the higher volume capacity potential of a bigger hose, the three inch hose, is what that pump is thirsty for. So, let's flip the switch. Yeah! That's what we wanna see. Now she's spitting. 
it's working. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, now it's just about um, basically doing the final install. And now I have, you know, I know what hose diameter I need so I can order all my fittings. Um, I can order uh, basically everything I need to, to get all this hooked up. So yeah, I'm happy. Cool, but you know, it's trial and error and it takes a lot of time and a lot of research. But that's the way it goes with this boat and probably with most boats. But you know, at least with this one, we know it's a lot of work, but it's also a yacht of love. See you guys on the next one.